The project that we are doing is called uh, AR Mail from Harbin. And basically, we are making these uh, um, postcards, but uh, at the back of the postcard, we have uh, prints. On the postcards, you will see through this device a 3D model that we scanned on the site. The postcard has plans, and plan is very important because we are architects, we, we deal with uh, drawings. But the drawings doesn't really tell you everything about the 3D, of course. So we scan the building, and we have the 3D model. But the 3D model alone also cannot tell you all about the buildings. We need a plan. So uh, we combine them together uh, so that uh, on the postcards, you see 3D models. And then if you remove it, you can actually see the uh, sections. It's not just building we are scanning. We are scanning artifacts people left, left there. Also, the material of that particular time, if it's raining, the material looks like a wet material. If it's a, a very sunny day, it's a very dry material. No two scans look exactly the same. And that will actually um, leave the sort of life history of the uh, building uh, burnt on the three-dimensional surface. There are thousands of people who can help us each day. Um, and then we can get all sorts of details, right? So if there is an interesting platform or, or sort of community device where people can scan a little bit and then we can manage to combine them, it can create a huge amount of data and then uh, we can combine them to make a very interesting and important and probably valuable record of the, the history of that building. I think the first time I was in Sigurak presenting something was uh, uh, end of eight, uh, 90s and, and I was doing uh, computer graphics animation projects and then I uh, started to do other things, uh, uh, such as uh, software development for uh, um, movie making. And then recently I switched to uh, this type of uh, um, technology. And in my field, uh, uh, technology always gives us some interesting opportunity to uh, create a new method and also new artifacts. Uh, and uh, SIGGRAPH gives us a great opportunity to test it and then uh, strives to make something worthy of presenting here.